Okay, so our main question that we're trying to answer is what is the effect of using mosquito nets on the risk of malaria? That was the, if we bring Daggety back here, that's the main arrow we care about is mosquito net use on risk of malaria. So what we can do first is do just kind of a naive um, estimate that pretend you've never taken this class. We just want to, to measure what is the effect of using mosquito nets on malaria risk. So we can do that with just regression without controlling for anything just to see what the effect is. So we'll add a new heading here and we'll call this the naive um, correlation isn't causation estimate. So this is going to be wrong, but it's kind of a good baseline to work with to see how wrong we are. So we're going to insert a new chunk here, and we'll name this um, super wrong answer. Okay, so to do this, we're just going to measure the effect of mosquito nets on the malaria risk. So we can make a model. I'm going to say model wrong equals LM. So we're going to use these columns in our data set. So we want our outcome is malaria risk. And our, um, our um, independent variable, the main thing we care about, is net. So we're going to say malaria risk is explained by net. And our data equals net. Okay, so if we run this model, we now have a thing called model wrong. We can't actually see anything in it. It worked, um, but we can't see the coefficients yet. So we need to somehow pull those coefficients out so we can see them. The best way to do this is to convert this, this model object into a data set, and then you can look at the different rows in the data set. So to do that, we're going to use the broom package. Um, so we're going to come back up to the top and just say library broom, because this package has functions in it like tidy and glance. So we can see the R squared, we can see the different coefficients, other things like that. So we're going to run this chunk again so that we can get the broom package. And then down here, we're going to say tidy model wrong. So if we run this now, there we go. This shows um, the kind of the baseline malaria risk on average for people who don't use the nets is 41, 42. So that's the general risk. Um, those who use nets, if that switch gets flipped on, then the malaria risk goes down by 16 points, um, which seems like a big effect. It's a 16 point difference in malaria risk for those who use nets. So that's cool. We can publish that and say nets are great. They cause a 16 point difference or a 16 point decrease in risk. We should roll it out all over the place. The problem with that though is there's self-selection here. This is observational data. And so people who use nets are using them for their own reasons. Um, we know what those reasons are because we have the DAG. Um, people with higher incomes are using nets. People with colder nighttime temperatures are using nets. People with higher health are using nets. Um, and then that also influences the risk of malaria. So we can't just look at this mosquito net effect on risk of malaria because we have confounders. So we need to do something to deal with those confounders.